Katie Colleen here. Welcome back Colleen clan or if you're new then come join the family for a video about posing and modeling with a wheelchair. So last week's video I did posing and modeling with forearm crutches but I really felt that there were enough differences between my experiences as a forearm crutch user and my experiences as a wheelchair user that they deserved separate videos entirely. <laughs> Now before we get too deep into this video, I would like to make a little disclaimer. All I'm going to be saying in this video is my own personal experiences with my disability in my body. It's going to be different for everyone. Everyone is going to have different things that their body can do and that they're comfortable doing. <laughs> Please do not, under any circumstances, do poses that are painful for you, put yourself at risk, or that you are uncomfortable doing. Okay, with that out of the way, Let's get into planning a photo shoot. So first you'll have to pick out a location and this is where accessibility becomes really important. And a wheelchair accessible location doesn't just mean there is a wheelchair ramp. It is so much more than that. You also need to be thinking about is the ground wheelchair accessible? What do I mean? So grass, gravel, dirt is kind of difficult to get over as a wheelchair user. I found with grass, sometimes there are these like hidden potholes in the ground and I'll try and roll over it and the front wheel of my wheelchair will get stuck in this grass pothole and I cannot push myself out and then I just have to yell for help until my husband pushes me out of the little pothole and we can keep going. It's sort of the same story with dirt as well. It's just really hard to push across it. And a lot of times those smaller front wheels will get stuck in any holes. So not super accessible there. Concrete and asphalt is much more accessible for moving around a wheelchair. I definitely prefer that I am on the concrete or asphalt and maybe we can have something scenic like behind the path that I'm on. Now another little accessibility thing to think about, which uh, honestly never occurred to me until I was using a wheelchair myself, is you need to think about how wide these pathways are. So one time I went to a comic book store with my husband and it was one of those comic book stores that had like comic books like in boxes, like stacked up to make a hallway, right? Now this hallway was actually narrower than the width of my wheelchair. So we barely got me inside the door and then I promptly got stuck between these comic book boxes. And it was very awkward as my husband had to unstick me and then backwards like wheel me out of the comic book shop. <laughs> so very awkward situation. I could not shop at that comic book shop. It's not accessible even though it appeared that it was. So also be aware of clutter, are any of the pathways or doorways narrow enough and might be hard to get a wheelchair through there. And of course, with any of these accessibility things, you can always just talk to the wheelchair model and they'll tell you what they're comfortable with. Some people may be comfortable with less of that accessibility and some people may not. I've done photo shoots in completely unaccessible locations and I just have to have people kind of help carry me there and carry me back. It's definitely not ideal, but if I'm comfortable with that person, it could be okay. Okay, so you've picked out a location. I just have a few little etiquette tips for interacting with a wheelchair user. Uh, first of all, you don't need to know their private medical history. You do not need to ask this person what their disability is or why they are using a wheelchair. I know you don't mean this in malice and you're probably just honestly curious, maybe even concerned for their health. There's really just no happy ending to this sort of conversation and it's just gonna start you off on the wrong foot. It really is. But do please ask if there are certain accommodations that can be made that would make them more comfortable. Another little etiquette, please, please do not move someone in their wheelchair without their permission to do so. When you move someone in a wheelchair without their permission, it very much feels like kidnapping. It's actually terrifying. This is not the Colleen Carry Out Express. You do not get to just roll me away. Uh, please ask permission before you move someone. 
and I'm very good at either accepting or declining that help depending on what I need. Now there is one more thing I want to talk about before we get into the posing ideas and that is the concept of an ambulatory wheelchair user. Now if you're not familiar with that term that is okay but an ambulatory wheelchair user is someone who does not need to use a wheelchair all the time only for certain situations. Somehow there came to be this idea that everybody using a wheelchair is paralyzed. This is a horrible lie. So some people may need a wheelchair some of the time, but not all the time. And some people may use different mobility aids. Let me give you some examples. If I'm going to walk a few feet across the hallway to go to the bathroom, I probably won't take any mobility aids. That is something that I can still do with some amount of pain, but it's still manageable. If I'm going to walk out to the mailbox, which is, you know, about a block away, I'm going to probably take my crutches. So with my wheelchair, which I'm using a lot more now, I can push myself an entire mile on my own in my wheelchair now. Something I'm really proud of. Gotten pretty strong, not to brag. There's definitely scenarios where there are things that I could not do without my wheelchair and my wheelchair is giving me freedom to do those things. So it's not that I don't need the wheelchair because I can walk, it's that the wheelchair is for specific situations where I do need it in order to have that independence and freedom. But now that you understand the term of ambulatory wheelchair use, let's move into some pose ideas. Okay, so this is Walter the wheelchair, my wheelchair, named Walter, here he is. Okay, so I feel like when I was first posing with my wheelchair, I felt like I should just kind of do this. That just kind of felt right because this is how I would sit if I was pushing myself, right? This is kind of the proper way to move about in a wheelchair. My feet are securely on the little foot plates and I am sitting upright, centered in my seat, and my hands are both on the push rims. This kind of seemed like the right place to start, but it doesn't turn out the best in pictures. I am just kind of a block of mass <laughs> and it doesn't look the best. I think we can do better. What I learned is that when you are posing for a picture, you are not going for a walk. So you're able to do things that you would not do if you were going for a walk. <laughs> so anyways, that means that I can move my feet from the foot plates if I would like for posing. And this way you can add a bit more interest. I can have my legs a little bit wider maybe. Um, I can cross my legs. Maybe kind of have one foot under. And let's see how that looks from the side as well. Now what if we also get the hands moved around a bit? So I personally don't really like the straight on elbows locked position. It's just not really my thing. I like to have an elbow bent. I think this just adds a little bit more interest in the shape. You have some more negative space between my body and my arm. Sometimes I like to have it back here. And also try having your arms do different things. Maybe one's forward, one's back. And you can even have a hand to pose. Maybe pull the prop if you would like. Both hands posing. Lots of fun things you can do there. And now let's look at changing kind of the trunk of the body as well to add some interest. Now, <laughs> having great posture is fantastic, but I also kind of like some of the looks when I'm like slouching a little bit or kind of, you know, lounging. This takes up a lot of space. It looks really dominant. I do like the kind of lounging look as well. I kind of like to do some from the back as well where I'm kind of leaning over the back. This is also an excellent opportunity to show off the back of the outfit if you would like to do that. 
Sometimes I will take some just without my face in it. Maybe you can kind of look back a little if you like. Get a side profile. Show off the back of the outfit. Uh, sometimes I even like to kind of sit in the wheelchair sideways if you can. Like this. Then you kind of get the side profile. You can see the wheel. You can sit sideways. Cross the leg maybe. You can really sit in the wheelchair however you would like it. And even though I'm not sitting in the wheelchair properly right now, as if I would push it, my weight is still completely supported by the chair. Now, sometimes you don't want your wheelchair in every picture. And that's understandable. You don't have to have your wheelchair in every picture. I think wheelchairs look pretty darn awesome. Walter looks stunning as always. There are quite a few different poses you can do sitting in a normal chair or even sitting on the ground but you can still have your body fully supported and be in a sitting down position so it's still safe or comfortable for you and you don't have to have the wheelchair in every photo if that's not what you want. We are now back to the chair that I started this video in. So the nice thing about chairs is without the wheels on the side, you can more easily sit sideways in the chair if you would like. And this gives you some more posing options where you don't have to use a wheelchair, you can just use any sort of normal seated furniture. <laughs> and we can apply everything we applied to sitting in the wheelchair. Kind of having wider stances with our legs if we want, having more lounging positions, just kind of playing with that space between your limbs and the trunk of your body. Do you want it wider? smaller. Okay, you can also sit on the ground is also an option depending on how easily <laughs> you can get up from the ground. Do some with the legs crossed, leaning back. And you can honestly do whatever feels more comfortable. It's also really fun to do overhead shots like this. <laughs> And then um, you can kind of get some different angles as well. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.